I was working in downtown Atlanta in my job for the G, uh, for GDOT and in my work there just saw right at the base of the skyline of Atlanta, right in, in what used to be the thriving community of Atlanta, forgotten parcels of land and land that had just the buildings have been demolished and all that remained were foundations and what we are now called gray space which there's no plant life there's no wildlife um, there's really no life at all in it and it really bothered me and so just started thinking about how can how can we change this and how can we turn something that really should be useful land into something that the community uses and, and sees as an asset and that's where we came up with this idea for Revive Atlanta. Our mission is that we're taking underutilized properties and we're turning them into something that is a community asset, such as community gardens, uh, playgrounds, green space, anything that will get people out experiencing the city of Atlanta and bringing some green life back to the city. This Saturday we're doing our first project where we're going out in the Little Five Points community and there's a site behind Variety Playhouse right in the heart there that that is, is kind of been forgotten about because it's it's not seen by uh, by everybody when they're driving down the road and so we're gonna go clean the site, um, turn some of the corners of the properties that, that haven't been utilized into community gardens and some park space that hopefully the, the city, the citizens and the residents right around the park can use. Whenever we can invite people out into the community, get outdoors again and work together, I think it's something that people would have a hard time arguing against and we shouldn't ask um, why should we do this but rather why not. So I nominated Brian um, because he has really brought our group together um, and led us to actually start becoming a, a group, a nonprofit that is actually out there doing actions together. So um, through him, we have all um, been motivated to really make this happen. I don't consider myself a hero of conservation uh, by any means. Uh, it's just doing a small part in, in hopefully contributing to a, a greater cause and a greater movement. I'm just collecting all these different movements that are happening at a ground level and, and hopefully putting them into one organization and providing the institution to do these type improvements on a regular basis.